Hello everyone, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the love reading for Sagittarius. Aries and Leo are already up. Mondays is fire sign day. It's the day that I do the love outlooks for fire signs. Um, <clears throat> so, let's take a look. What is Sagittarius looking at? We're going to take a, <clears throat> a look at your mind, body, heart, and soul. Earth, air, fire, and water side or aspects to your love life this week and what your central issue is right what the central focus of love is in your in your week um whether someone's coming in or where you're at where you're personally at in the area of love so let's just see sagittarius show me next seven days in love So, straight out the center, we have the Hero Fan, covered with the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, Temperance, your card, Death, and the Page of Wands. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. So right now, you are working, Sagittarius, right? <clears throat> Work will help you temper your area, area of love, right? It could be... Um, we're going to get deeper into it, of course, um, but <clears throat> for Three of Pentacles to be there, you're doing, you know, right now you're putting a lot of your time and effort into your work. And that, that effort, that time, that energy that you're putting into your work is part and parcel of uh, the balancing forces in your life, in your love life this week. And we're going to take a look at, at why. Um, why that is as well. So at the center, Hierophant and Seven of Swords, Sagittarius. And by the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, you might not know, I'm a Sagittarius myself, and I love reading for you guys. So, <clears throat> um, Hierophant is there. Seven of Swords is there. So we're talking about, um, orderliness this week, right? Tradition. Sticking with tradition, is that an issue? Is that a point? This is going to, this is the center card for... Uh, for those of you who may be resonating with this reading, for your love area. So it could be that for some of you, you are looking at making uh, a more formal sort of commitment. Uh, you may be dealing with sort of uh, uh, kind of like cultural or family responsibilities, you know. The Hierophant really represents... Um, <clears throat> it represents the spiritual world here on earth, but moreover, it represents our belief systems, you know, how we are raised, our tenets, our sort of principles. And then in the area of love, we have certain principles, too. Some, for instance, believe that you need to get married. Some don't believe in marriage. You know, this is going to be different for everyone, but that's the area we're talking about. Very much sort of like whatever for you is sort of the accepted... Um, principle, right, that you want to adhere to in your love life. But you're covered with a seven of swords. So it's interesting because someone around you is not willing to put that effort in. There's a, there's futility here, right? So it could be that you have someone coming in, Sagittarius, who, you know, while you're trying to sort of stay with your, you know, stay focused with your principles, your guiding morals, right? Um, someone is bringing in sort of a much more, I want to say, treacherous energy, right? I mean, Seven of Swords is the card for treachery. It's also a card for futility. It comes from someone who isn't willing to put the work in. They'd rather covet, take what they want, right? It's the Thief and the Knight. So you have some shadow energy here coming in over over you wanting to try to sort of maintain this stability in what you, you know, what you believe in and what you believe you're, you know, uh, is important to your love life, right? Because here fans going to represent different principles and morals for different people, but that's the essence of it. Now, in your body and mind, you, here we go, we've got some more, not so much challenge, but in your body, you're still kind of reeling, I want to say, or you're still kind of fixed on a previous, I want to say, pain, grief. Some of you may have broken up with somebody most recently, or um, 
or perhaps it wasn't it doesn't necessarily have to be recent but it was the last you know the last time you made the last time you were with somebody you broke up um and it's lingering you know it's lingering you continue to grieve whether it's recent or it's a year ago or two years ago or longer right um it feels recent to me though in this reading in any case, you know, you're kind of working through it physically. Some of you may be uh, looking still to the past in terms of, um, you know, making the same type of moves, right? Acting the same way, being around the same sort of influences, the same people, same social circle, right, that brought that pain. Right? Because this position is the position of the body, your environment, and how you're living. So it's like you're physically stuck, Sagittarius. Some of you may be a little bit stuck physically still in that area uh, where this heartache has come. It could be that you need to change your social social circles or maybe that you need to change where you know where you go. Um, just something about your physicality perhaps needs to change so you can make that quick clean break and interesting in in your mind position That's your body and in mind We have death. So you're definitely um, Mentally you're you're beginning to go through that Breakaway phase, right? You're beginning to let go. You're beginning to go through that transformation uh, Mentally you're strong, you know um, <clears throat> Because death is about letting go. It's about something that needs to die, that is stagnated, dying, and allowing for new growth. It's the beginning of transformation. So while physically you may be lingering, some of you may be having to <clears throat> move, right? And you're stuck uh, where you're at right now. You know, once you move, you'll be able to pull yourself out of this, this pain that's here, right? Um, physically, you may be moving cities or homes or what have you, but mentally, you've made the break. Could be also for some of you even a marriage, because Hierophant can represent marriage and institutions like that. <clears throat> uh, so it could be that for some of you, you've a marriage has already broken up or a long-term relationship has already broken up, right? Um, but you're kind of going through the physical pulling away now. Mentally, you've pulled away, but there's a futility there. Something is going on, Sagittarius. I'm going to pull another card with that Seven of Swords, where it feels a little bit like it may, it may be that there are some energies you feel like are working against you, against you being able to move away from the environment that continues to cause you this pain. Um, heart and soul. In your heart, you're remaining tempered, and temperance is a card for Sagittarius. So you're remaining true to yourself. You're, you're, you're really tapping into those natural Sagittarian abilities to remain like a rock internally, despite the fact that you have so much going on around you. And this, again, speaks to a situation that emotionally is difficult. Again, you know, here fan is at the center. It's almost like your faith is being tested here, right? But you're going through something a little difficult, and this futility that's covering you, you need to have this temperance, right? You need to have the temperance, because the futility isn't from you. Sometimes you just have to go through the obstacles, and you just have to go through, right? It feels as though, every, you know, it's a futile effort. It feels as though something is blocking your way, but remaining tempered and staying within that strong Sagittarian energy, energy emotionally is going to allow you to ride this rocky, rocky period. Spiritually, though, Page of Wands, you're ready to soar spiritually, right? And this is really good. It feels healthy and good to me because mentally you've made that break. Emotionally, you're strong. Spiritually, you have fire. You're, you're courageous. It, it, you haven't given necessarily up on love or up on... Uh, having love in your life or anything like that you're ready to start something you new and you're also ready to kind of follow your heart again and follow your passion it feels to me again sagittarius like this is a reading for a sagittarius who's gone through a breakup uh, once again i perhaps it feels to me fairly recent okay it might be like the last six months to a year and right now you're going through you know, every other part of you has kind of begun to move on. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but physically, you're still stuck, right? Physically. And I don't think that that is through any any fault of your own. Um, you're, it is... 
you know, it can be that uh, you may have a responsibility there for some of you. You may be like, you know, there's some kind of tie there that's that's making it difficult physically. And that's tying into the heartache of the breakup, right? Show me uh, what's going on. Let's get some clarifiers, Sagittarius, for the next seven days. And this is where, uh, before I go on, this is where this bottom card really plays in three of pentacles because by putting your energy into your work, right, and really putting your mind, body, and soul into that, you are going to become, you know, you are going to also that have the fortitude, you know what I mean? Rejuvenation, you'll be rejuvenating yourself by having that, positive feedback from working, getting positive feedback from your work, and all of that energy is going to very much help you in this situation, right? Because right now you're still, and certainly you'll need the money from that to help in this physical area. Show me uh, Sagittarius now, four more cards. more cards. All right, body. Mm. Emotions. It's a heart, mind, and soul. All right, there we go. So you know you're blessed right now, right? You do have blessings in your life. Nine of Cups can be, you guys probably, Sagittarius is, this Sagittarius probably have strong family ties, fam, uh, friendship ties. You have blessings. You have good, strong relationships in your life that uh, will be helping you get through this. But that one little pull is still pulling you. And of course, that is, you know, again, it feels like a marriage breaking up, a long-term relationship breaking up. But what will help you is this strong Nine of Cups energy, which is strong, strong, uh, blessed relationships in other areas of your life, like I said, friends and family, um, that is very much going to help you. You may even want to tap into some of that, um, that love, right? That, those blessings. And you can even ask if you're, if you're in a situation where you're physically having to move and is finding it difficult, you know, tap into that, that, you know, wealth of sort of support that you have there, right? Um, temperance, right? So staying tempered because ultimately your mind is on moving away, moving towards harmony and seeing the back of all of this, Six of Swords. So you're ready. You are really very much ready mentally and emotionally to move on. And you know that right now it's important that you do remain tempered while you're going through this and trying to move on because uh, it, it's, you just don't have any time for the drama, right? Six of Swords is like remaining focused on harmony, balance, right? Moving away from the things that have hurt you and the trouble and the strife and moving much more uh, intentionally towards harmony and harmonious relationships. Mentally, Wheel of Fortune, right? So you've let go, and now for fortunate opportunities are coming in, right? So now that the death has happened, and you have really very strongly mentally let go of any hang-ups or any doubts or anything like that, and you are absolutely now uh, going through that transformative period of really fertilizing the ground for new growth, right? The death has happened, now you're ready for new growth. Beautiful opportunities come in, and that's the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you. So this is gonna be a good week, also Sagittarius, for you to look at opportunities. Wheel of Fortune is associated, the Wheel of Fortune and Tarot card associated with the planet Jupiter, which is your ruling planet, Sagittarius. So you're gonna have some of that natural luck coming in for you this week as well, which I think is going to help you, again, with this situation of having to move having to get away. And I keep saying move, but if, you know, this, I, it feel, you know, if, if you're resonating with this, it feels strongly like this is, a, like you're having to really get away from a particular situation for it to be a final cut, for, it, for you to finally manifest all of these other things that you've been manifesting in your um, um, uh, heart, mind, and soul. Now, your soul, yes, two pages talk about fearlessness, right? Pages are about overcoming fear, right? So page of wands is overcoming fear, 
uh, following your heart and following your passion and being brave enough to do that. Page of Swords is overcoming doubts and fears that we have in our mind, right? Beginning to see clearly, beginning to see yourself with clarity instead of veiling yourself in sort of uh, negative thoughts and doubts and self-esteem, you know, and, ha you know, the hang-ups that we c accumulate, right, through experience and the way we've been raised, the way we go through society. Pages, pages are about overcoming those fears, and you are fearless right now, spiritually. You're willing to take, uh, the mo you know, you're willing to take a chance on an adventure, and you're clear about your ability to succeed. You feel positive, and this is beautiful. It just simply is that this area here is your sh is your struggle. Like I said, and this week is going to feel like you have that seven of swords. So there's some futility there coming in. Right? The Seven of Swords can also be people coming in with certain ideas, you know, arguing maybe a little bit with you or just distracting you in some way, right, um, from what you need to do. So don't forget to tap into the good and positive relationships. You have to find that strength. You already have temperance and you already have the pages on your side spiritually overcoming total fear of moving forward. This is a great reading for positivity and growth, Sagittarius. And all the sun, all three of the fire signs have really had beautiful readings today. So, all right, I'm going to leave it at that. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, don't forget to check out the other videos. These are for these love uh, readings are for those who are in that sign, sun, moon, Venus, Mars, or rising. So if you have a strong uh, Leo, right, if you have a Leo component in your chart, you have Mars and Leo or Leo rising, you might want to check that reading out. That might resonate with you as well. All right, guys, but for right now, have a wonderful week, and I shall see you at your next reading. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.